All right, hi everyone. This is Patrick in the studio. This is really the first of hopefully many lessons or videos on painting and drawing. So, um, my name is Patrick Maselli. My channel is called Patrick in the Studio. And this is going to be an eight short videos showing you how to do a palette knife painting, at least my version of it. I'm sure there's lots of versions of palette knife paintings. And of course, this was my uh, storyboard, which you can't see, but and it's all backwards now. But that's all right. I'm going to explain it to you. So anyway, so what I've done today is I'm just going to explain uh, the materials that we're going to use. And um, so that'll be today. So setting up the tools, uh, two photographing the subject, uh, printing and gridding the photo, painting the grid on the canvas, the underpainting, mixing colors, painting the painting and the finished product. So that's what we're going to do in this eight parts. So those are the different parts of it. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you some of the basic tools we're going to use. I've got an 11 by 14 inch canvas, of course, very important, right? We've got to paint on something, you know, just a regular cheapy canvas probably cost me a couple dollars. All right, and then some palette paper, disposable palette paper, you know, palettes, I've used all kinds of palettes over the years, but this stuff works easy, disposable, use it, throw it out. Sometimes I'll use a piece of palette paper for weeks and weeks and let the paint build up on it and then throw it out. And then I have a modest set of colors. I don't have any brand loyalty at the moment, whatever is cheapest. So I have some white, some yellow, some orange, cadmium red, cadmium orange that is, alizarin crimson, uh, some uh, diazoline purple, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and some permanent green light. So a rather modest set of uh, paints. And um, I also have here uh, a, two, a tub of burnt sienna, which I'm gonna use, you'll see. And then a brush for applying the burnt sienna, some water in a container, and then another container with a brush for oil painting for the underpainting, and then some turpenoid that will end up here eventually. So those are the basic tools, and um, what I'm going to do next is uh, go to step two, or photographing the subject. So I think that's always important. And the subject, uh-oh, that's important. Just give me a moment. Go to my refrigerator. I had this idea to do a, a, a piece of cake or pie, but I couldn't find anything. Anyway, being Easter, they have these large Easter-like uh, cupcakes. I thought, oh, this is nice. So I thought I would do that. I'm not sure how well that shows up here. There we go, it's a little better. So I'm gonna photograph this. That'll be the next step, printing the photograph. And um, anyway, so that's the um, step number two is photographing the subject, okay? Thank you, and we'll be back.